Hi guys, Steve here. And there's some interesting news about ARC that's come out. But before I get into it, please like and subscribe because it took ages to make. Thank you very much. I'll be referencing videos by Buzz Lightbeer and GP, but I'll link in the description below, so well done for them for finding this information out. First off, it looks like Snail Games is broke and has run out of money. They did a filing with the SEC, and from their investor report, they have stated they are 9 million in debt. There are another two loans due to be repaid soon of 6 million and 2.9 million, but Snail intends to renegotiate the terms, but there is no guarantee they'll get that, and there is a substantial doubt that Snail will continue as an ongoing concern. They're just hanging in there. They owe Marbis. You might better know them as Nitrado, the company that hosts their official ARC servers, over $1 million, and that Snell are borrowing another $3 million from Nitrado for what looks like to finish ARC Survival Ascended. Marbis hereby grants Snail Games USA funding up to the principal amount of $4,046,332. And the repay details are as follows. If Ark Survival Ascended is officially launched and released globally on a personal computer platform, no later than on the 31st of October 2023, Snail Games USA shall pay to Marvis an amount equal to 20% of monthly gross revenue received by Snail Games and or any of its affiliates solely pertaining to Ark Survival Ascended up to the repayment amount until the repayment amount has been repaid in full. I'll abbreviate it down a bit to make it more understandable. If Ark Survival Ascended is released before the 31st of October 2023, Snail Games will pay 20% of Ark Survival Evolve's monthly gross revenue until the loan has been paid off in full. But if that doesn't happen, then you have... If Ark Survival Ascended has not been officially launched and released globally on a personal computer platform by the 31st of October 2023, Snail Games USA shall pay to Marvis the amount equal to 20% of monthly gross revenue received by Snail Games USA and or any of its affiliates solely pertaining to Ark Survival Evolved and the games up to the repayment amount until the repayment amount has been repaid in full. Wow, that's a lot of word bollocks. Which means if Ark Survival Ascended is not out by the 31st of October 2023, Snail Games will have to pay Marbis 20% of a monthly gross revenue from Ark Survival Evolved, Ark Survival Ascended when it comes out, all the DLCs and Ark 2 whenever it comes out, until it's been paid in full. So Ark Ascended has to be released before the 31st of October 2023. Buzz Lightbeer found out how much Ark has made. According to this LinkedIn profile for Doug Kennedy, CEO and co-founder of Studio Wildcard, Ark Survival Evolved has grossed over $1.3 billion since it released in 2015. And a side note of interest here, each of the DLCs has generated over $40 million. So when I first heard this, I thought, wow, where the hell has all the savings gone? Snail don't even have enough money to pay for their current servers. Never mind have enough to get Ark Survival Ascended finished. You notice they only mentioned they have to get the PC version out by then. So if you're on a console, sorry, but it's likely it's going to be very badly delayed. Snail must get ASA out before the 31st of October 2023 whatever state it's in, so not to lose a 20% from Ark Survival Evolved money. So is it going to be rushed or even finished in time? Snail had said ASA will be coming with the island and Scorched Earth maps. Ark Ascended was meant to be a remaster, taking everything from Ark from the last eight years, fixing it and making it better to a higher standard. But it's only launching with the island map now, and that's even been released in Early Access. Name one remaster that's ever been launched in Early Access. There aren't none, as that would be a complete piss take. It sounds more like they've run out of money, and they've got to get Ark Ascended out just to raise more funds, as they weren't going to get Ark 2 done in time, and this would be a test bed for that game to see if I could get everything working. We know Wildcard is struggling to work in Unreal Engine 5. Then you have all the new complicated, integrated login and modding systems they have to add. 
we have seen nothing at all from Ark Ascended, not even an in-game still. And because they've got that 31st of October deadline, they will have to bang it out in whatever state it's in. Even if Ark Ascended doesn't work, is unplayable and is a complete disaster. Something like or worse than the Atlas release, they will still have to bring it out, with a fix it later attitude. Otherwise, Snail loses 20% of all its ARC income to Nitrado, so that doesn't really fill me with confidence. You can be optimistic if you like, but I'm just trying to save you from being disappointed. And if it is good, you'd be happily surprised. But then again, Atlas release. <laughs> Let's talk about that loan from Marbis. Did Nitrado willingly offer Snail the loan, or were they strong armed into it, otherwise, they wouldn't get the ARC hosting anymore? The relationship is Snail Games USA is meant to be the main company at the top of the food chain, and Nitrado is just a supplier who hosts the ARC servers. It had to be embarrassing for Snail to tell their supplier they couldn't pay them, never mind asking them for a loan. Why couldn't Snail get a loan from somewhere else? Were they refused loans and were forced to ask the supplier? We shall probably never know. Snail wouldn't want anyone to know they'd run out of money, even their own companies below them. So it all makes sense now. Why Jeremy Seedlet said Ark Ascended would be a free upgrade. Because he must have thought that Snail Games was loaded with loads of savings. It has grossed over $1.3 billion. But I'm betting Snail Games didn't even tell him or Wildcard that had run out of money, as they didn't want to lose face. Then only did Snail tell them when they were forced to, to charge for Ark Ascended because we were desperate to bring money in. The logical reason why Nitrado loans Snail the money is that Nitrado has been working with Snail for years and hosts their servers. Snail has been good for the money up to now, and Nitrado has made a lot of money from Snail over the years, from hosting their ARC servers and they want to keep that relationship going. When ARC Ascended is released, they hope it will make tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, so they think it's a sure thing that they'll get their money back. But if Snail didn't get their loan money, they couldn't finish Ark's Survival Ascended. Snail wouldn't get all those millions saved up. Snail would run out of money and wouldn't be able to pay for the servers anymore. So to keep getting money from Snail Games for the server hosting for now and the future, Nitrado had to give Snail the loan, or Nitrado would lose a large amount of their future income. Plus it gives Marbis, Nitrado, the dominant position over Snail Games, and a huge bargaining chip that they can ask for just about anything they want. And they did do. It's going to be really bad news for some of you, including me, but a lot of you won't be bothered or care. GP found out first that Snell have signed an exclusive deal to only let Nitrado host their ARC Survival Ascended servers. Not just the official servers, but all paid for private servers as well. That means you can't use your server companies that you like and used before to host your group servers. Morbis Nitrado has exclusive rights to host all ARC Survival Ascended servers, rent out private servers and community servers, all commercial and monetized servers, Brock Ascended and ARC 2 and any other games for seven years, but after three years Snail can look for new hosts, but once per year, if they need to. Nitrado seem to make a good business decision, and you can't fault them for doing what's best for themselves, to be the only and exclusive host for ARC Survival Ascended servers. They have monopolised the market of ARC Survival Ascended, so it should bring more money in for them. I have no ill feelings towards Nitrado, I just don't like my options being taken away from me, being forced to use them or nothing. I'm not moving from my server company, as it took me months to test everyone else, and to find out they were the best. Link in the description box below if you want to rent a server by the way. I've been hosting my own ARC servers with them for years, and I was going to change over those servers to ARC Survival Ascended ones. I'm sure a lot of people would have done the same as well, but this has totally screwed up all our plans for ARC Survival Ascended, and I don't know what I'll be doing now. I know being forced to host with Nitrado will put a large amount of people off buying ARC Ascended. When they'd planned to set up their own server of choice, it has me. And announcing it this late, just before launch, doesn't help matters either, as people needed time to plan. 
I get a feeling they only announced it now because people found out from the investor report, so they had to respond. So you only can use Nitrado servers to run Arc Standard, or set up your own hardware to run it, which is a complete pain in the ass, will cost a lot, and almost no one will do. I ran a poll asking if this has put you off from buying Arc Ascended, and 22% of people said yes. Then on top of that, you have everything else Snail has done to put people off from buying it. Which leads us to the final point. Snail Games is sure that Arc Ascended will sell well and make many millions, but that's not guaranteed. We know it must be rushed out if it's ready or not. What if it's in such a bad state that most people stay away or refund it? With the amount of red flags, if there was ever a game not to pre-order, Arc Ascended is it. Unless you're reviewing it to tell other people what it's like. Then on top, all the bad news from the past few months. And after all the corruption and shady shit Snail Games Arc's publisher has pulled over the years. Like banning players for no reason when they've done nothing wrong. Just because they attack the publisher's tribe and are cheating in their own game. Watch this video to find out about that if you haven't already. Many people have already said they're sick of it and are not buying it on principle. As they don't like or trust the publisher. After all, there are a lot of new games coming out soon that look more fun than ARK. And I'll be doing a video on all of them, so don't forget to subscribe for that if you're not already. But with all the hostility Snail Games has built up around itself, Snail have created a situation where there is the biggest incentive ever now for people not to buy ARK Ascended. Because if ARK Ascended doesn't sell, Snail Games can't pay their debts, they might go under, or at very least be forced to sell the ARK IP to another company that would buy it and fund Wildcard to finish it properly, then release ASA later. For this outcome, not buying Arc Ascended will be your one and only chance from Wildcard to be released from under Snail Games. Then all the Snail's corruption is removed, and you get the Arc Ascended game a bit later. So yeah, Snail Games staying silent and doing nothing about its own corruption, what's the worst that could happen? This, it affecting your entire company. When you should have just restored all the people you unfairly banned, apologised, and stopped cheating in your own game. Ugh. There's a few months before Arc Ascended comes out, so plenty of time for many more things to go wrong. At this point, it seems like Snell are going down a checklist each week and destroying any reason to be excited about Arc Ascended. What next? Everyone left to buy new hardware just to run it in Unreal 5? What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful, and share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. Click the bell notifications in order to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and chat to me on Discord. Buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye!